Hello, it's me again. I am talking about these half round and flat pliers from Morn today. 4772-140. Yeah, really good, like these, like these a lot. I know you can get different ones these days, but the most traditional pair of round pliers are round on each side. You can get round and flats, but most people generally have rounds and rounds. Negative with these is that when you hold the metal, you put a divot into it. I mean, mainly I use these for making jump rings, but you know, you can basically make in anything that's round. And jump rings use uh, round wire. So where these sort of contacts on the outside, they put a, a divot into a round wire which is rather annoying so having a flat on one side does alleviate that a bit well it, you won't have a divot in it you might leave a little flat um, but a flat is easier to make round than a basically a big divot into the metal i like that these go a little bit bigger the round on these, I don't know if you can really see the difference there. Handy for making bigger jump rings or a collet that the size is slightly bigger. The um, thing that I really like about these um, is that they're sprung. When you're making a jump ring, you don't, well, you don't bend it all round in one go. You start at the end, bend it round, release and then bend round again or accentuate it but you bend the tip release move it along a bit bend the next bit release next bit next bit next bit and so on till you get a uh a round and look you can see mm, that that's surface hasn't been damaged they're more heavy duty. I think it's just the the width of the, the grips. You can really sort of get a, a, a good grip on them. So you can bend heavier duty wire. Also, I think sometimes when you've got the, the two rounds, they can twist a bit. If you're really putting force on them, two round noses of them start to bend opposite ways against the force that you're putting on. That doesn't happen with these. Yeah, just really easy to use, to be honest. My one thing, you could rough up the surface a bit, but any rough surface, the rougher the surface of your, of your plier, the rougher mark you're gonna leave on the metal. But I have found slightly where this doesn't dig in so much on the back side, if I'm using really sort of heavy gauge wire, it might slip a bit. So instead of gripping and bending, it might just slip around the curve ever so slightly. But like I said, that is, that's not all the time. I, I pretty much converted to these. So the fineness of the round at the top, obviously, because it's tapered, I would like it to go further and be finer. Um, Again, you can't really see the difference in the on the screen. It just allows you to make much finer little jump rings that could be useful for all manner of, of things. A positive criticism, that'd be the only thing I have to say. But yeah, definitely love the spring. Saves you having to constantly flick it back out with your other fingers, I think. Good addition, seal of approval. Mm -hmm.